Today we're doing a tour of Volcano for Scott here. Scotty is an awesome young man, artist, uh, Scott Ferguson Art. You can go to his website. What's your website, Scott? CargoCollective.com forward yep. slash Scott Ferguson. Notice the sign okay. of the Miley. Yeah, 95. 27 so. miles is to the zero point, which is Hilo, Kansas, where the airport is a mile farther. So we're 26 mm -hmm. miles from the airport. 26 uh -huh. miles from 27 from so the we're gonna head up to the volcano here and take a tour of the park we have the car so we'll take the main entrance like the other night but we don't have to it's like wow <laughs> 30 dollars for a private vehicle hello oh, i need to get closer i live right here in the village how you doing today? you can see uh, probably snow up there too. oh it's mostly disappeared but both the mountains got snow does it right? remind you of over. yellowstone national park kind of um have you been to yellowstone i don't know if i've ever been there to be honest let's go yeah let's go to this one and check it out yeah be careful it's like okay go check out the go check out the steam let's go in it don't worry about it it's not going to burn you Come over here. Right here. Right here. Is it hot? Oh yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's nice though, huh? Yeah. It's like a steam sauna. Yeah. Money in there. Look at that. How far do you would you say it is from the house to this national park? Um, it's like. 10 minutes by car. <laughs> okay. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. There's some beautiful, look at these. There's hot spring. It's just beautiful. It's really amazing. And you can see, like, this is the village. It's pretty close. It's ready to look. You know, look out here. You see the steam coming up the edge and this is what we were looking at the other day that's where the lava is right in there it's the lava lake so come take a look over here check this out man what do you think what do you think of that it's wild Here, active volcano, most active volcano in the world, the biggest mountain in the world. Scott Ferguson, muralist artist from um, Colorado or Brooklyn? Uh, yeah, originally Denver. Okay. Um, Scott, I want to take you to the uh, lodge. There's a building over here. Snow up on the mountain. Mauna Loa. Mauna Kea is the other side. And this is Kilauea Mountain. Do you know about these plants? Nope, don't know what it is. Do you, Scott Ferguson, know about these plants? No, I do not. Okay, what I want you to do is very carefully climb underneath here, but don't touch them. Very carefully. Climb underneath here. Don't touch them. And I want you to touch this leaf right here. Oh, I thought you were talking about the... Touch that leaf right there. Touch that leaf. Touch it. Okay, they're different here. Touch I've, those. I've seen the ones that, that close after you touch it. That's what you thought it was, huh? They are those, but up here they're not closing. Oh, okay. That's crazy. There's something wrong. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, we'll I do it down lower elevation. Yeah, I, I, I thought you were talking about the flowers. <laughs> then, uh, Tea, ready to go into the lodge right here? Ready. You're going to see a fireplace. Come on in. Enjoy the fire. Go check out the fire. 
just in case your parents watch this, can you tell them if it's cold out here in this part of the country? It's not cold today. It was cold the other day. <laughs> I think, why do they have a fire going? <laughs> For fun, maybe? We got wood here. He noticed this right away. Artwork. Yep. And the fire. Actually eat at a restaurant and watch the volcano erupting. That's how dangerous it is. You see? Come and take a look. Come out here. You can watch TV, watch it erupting. You go to the window and you can see it erupting out here. Right here. There's one other place I've been to all volcano there in the Philippines. I, when that was erupting, it was actually dangerous and they were evacuating the area. It's all volcano there in Philippines. My wife and I went and ate at a restaurant where we were serenaded by people singing, playing guitars while we watched the volcano erupting. <laughs> It, it actually rained down ash and stuff in our hair and we couldn't breathe. We had to wear a mask. More dangerous than this. This doesn't put s s that sort of stuff in the air. It's just steam and uh, maybe a little sulfur, which isn't healthy to breathe, and then lava. So leaving the lodge now and going over to the lava tube, the longest in the world. Now we're not gonna go the whole length because it's like 40 some miles long, but we will go through a section of it and uh, we, were, we will, let's see, we will look at the art museum at another time. Turn, 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 turn into the, uh, so my good buddy here who lives in the village is giving us a ride around. Um, it's great because I can film and if I were driving, I couldn't film. So thank you so much, my dear friend. I won't say your name just to keep it confidential. Look at Lava Tube. Lava Tube is two miles? Is that okay? Are you willing to drive two miles? Oh no, gee, that'd be terrible. So far. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look at this, it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Right. Pretty beautiful here, isn't it, Scott? It's beautiful. Beautiful place. I mean, really, tell me the truth. Like, from a scale from one to 10, what do you think? I, he's probably gonna say four or something like that. Be honest. That's what he says with the most delicious food. He's like five. <laughs> Come on, from one to 10, beauty being in nature, what would you put it at? Probably a seven. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, you know he's what? He's been around. He's probably seen he's been around. Falls, yeah, I think seven is, that's actually what I would give it, actually. Oh, I was going up in the air really high, like thousand plus feet. And what's interesting about this is when it happened, they had about 10,000 visitors a day that came right here, yeah, right beside it. It was insane. It's crazy. So take a look. Come and take a look, man. You're going to love this. Yeah, so see that pile it kind of built up over there? This is a whole separate little crater. I love biking through here. It's wonderful. See how far down that is? You don't even see, notice how far it is until you see a person, and a person looks like an ant. You can't even see people so far down. But you have to really know your bearings because it's easy to get lost your direction. Yeah, exactly. It's so vast. There's, do you know how many? Person down there? Way out, we're in black, yeah. Right there, right at the bottom, walking. Yeah, there's people that go out there. Yeah. Right. But you don't, wouldn't want to be at night, you'd be right. There. I see. Yeah. Awesome. Here we are at the Thurston Lava Tube. You can see the sign right over here. And we're gonna hike in. Do you have your flashlight? Berries on it, but you can't eat. This trail zigzags back and forth down into this cool little Place. There are so many trails. So living in this place is really healthy because you get to walk and exercise and bike and all the old people love it because it's ideal weather year round. Got the organic farmers markets and really nice restaurants and stuff right here at the village. I mean at the, uh, I should say the lodge. Yeah. Raspberries. 
this fern right here. Come out and... Wild strawberries. Those are strawberries, you know. Yeah, they grow a whole bunch of Look there. at this fern. They're so good. <laughs> But I'm going up today to get a bunch towering of over your head. <laughs> Look at these tree ferns towering up. Let's go in. Look at this. I don't. Yeah. There's an opening. I think it's over there, guys. It's straight ahead. You see the light, at the end of the tunnel. See it? Go straight ahead, Scott. Restroom. One right over here. I'm good right now. This completes our tour for the day. So that's it. See people coming in. So this is just a big circle. These are All the states. Pure people rainwater. Live people live the longest in this In state. this place, yeah. This is incredible. Try it. Go ahead and try some. It's I pure rainwater. Untreated. The obituaries and all these old Japanese names. 120, 103, 110. And, you know, I mean, really. <laughs> yeah, they live a long time here because, yeah, because the weather it's is safe ideal. and free from all the evil that's going so on. So there's 2,600 miles of pure, um, you know, nothing but trade winds, and it purifies it coming from the mainland. Yeah. This is.